Yo, my people, them CFC, Redis Blue, back with another video. And it's a Chelsea news up there. We've got a lot of hot topics to talk about. Ian Matson, Califori, Michael Elise. So I hope you guys stay tuned for the news. And I hope you have an enjoyable Thursday. I will be holding watch alongs all day today, Copper America, as well as Euro. So stay tuned for all of that. Look out for the community post as well so you can see any news on there and thank you for your support i'm gonna get into the news now and i'm gonna start off with the ian matson news and look at this ian matson has joined aston villa from chelsea the blues will receive 37.5 million for ian matson two options for villa player to join chelsea it will be duran or an academy player Aston Villa will split the payment into several years for Matson. This is due to PSR. Yeah, man. See, all of that news it was reported by Fabrizio Romano as well. And yeah, Matson to Aston Villa. Here we go. If I'm going to be honest, this is a good deal for everyone. I would have liked Matson to stay at Chelsea. If Matt's going to be honest, he wasn't going to have a future here. That's the reason why he went on loan to Borussia Dortmund. He wasn't getting used all season last year. And to receive 37.5 million when the release clause was 35 mil, that is great business. Great business. He hasn't played many minutes in the Premier League. He just about was a starter for Borussia Dortmund during the second half of the season. And he's played for Burnley in the Championship. To gain this much money, this is brilliant and pure profit as well. Like, it's not ideal, but I'm not going to be losing sleep over it because it's the best deal. And Ian Matson, it's a good deal for him. For two years in a row, he'll be able to play Champions League football. When, and this will be his first season where he can do it from start to finish. Aston Villa have already qualified for the Champions League after finishing the top four last season. He, alongside Luca Dino and other left backs that he already have, he could be a staff Aston Villa in the future. Who knows? But this is a good opportunity for him and better than being at Chelsea because where you get no game time, there's no Champions League football, it's just bare L's that are, that's happening for him. Bare L's that if he was at Chelsea. So I'm happy for his move, happy to get the money for the club. And yeah, man, it's just a good deal all around. And in terms of like the Duran thing, this is going to be something that could be a swap deal. I'm not 100% sure, but it's looking likely, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Aston Villa, if you saw my reports or my other videos, it was reported that they wouldn't buy a player from mm -hmm. us unless the run or a Aston Villa player was going to get sold. It says in the statement that the run or an academy player will be coming to Chelsea. It has to be the run. I don't care which academy player they want to throw at us. The run, we have to get him. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to have to be paying that much either. So I'm going to be fine with it. Duran coming to Chelsea now, in my opinion, we had another striker mm -hmm. after selling someone that wouldn't be in our first team plans anyway. It makes perfect sense. If we get an academy player, it's dumb. It's dumb. And it doesn't make any sense in my point of view. But hey, man, this is the news on Ian Matson and Duran. As well as you see the striker news just in general, because I haven't really talked about it. The striker stuff, we better not be spending big money. It better be a swap deal for the run. He'd be linked with other guys that I don't know who they are. It's Atletico Madrid striker. I'm not sure who he is. So for me, yeah, man, get the run, swap deal. Not a lot of money. Calm, third choice striker behind Jackson. That's good enough for me because we're not going to be signing a big name striker this summer. And fair enough, it is what it is. We have other areas to look about. Left back and another winger option that is more important at this stage because I believe we need a goalkeeper and a striker for when we're trying to get closer to winning the Premier League title. Mm -hmm. And this season coming, we don't need both of those positions to get strengthened for us to get top four, in my opinion. So that's just my thoughts. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Are you happy that Ian Matson has gone to Aston Villa? Do you want Duran to come to Chelsea? You want us to get an academy player from Aston Villa? Let me know down below. 
And now we'll switch over to the next news. And speaking of the left back news, look at this. So Chelsea are included in many big clubs that have been scouting Ricardo Calafori. Bologna want, want to wait to see who, who presents a big offer after the Euros. And yeah, man, that was reported by Fabrizio Romano again. And boy, oh boy, see Califori, I've been watching the Euros. He's only played one game for Italy, and it was a good game. I believe that we just need another left back. Marco Carrera is a good option, and if we can have someone to just provide options for next season, because who knows what gonna, who knows what Chelsea are going to be like under en Enzo Maresca next season. Kukurea could undergo another transformation because last year, I believe that he had a big, big improvement compared to the season before. He could have it this season. And with Califori, that could be another person who could come in and deliver wonders for us. Deliver wonders. Because we need a new left back. We do. Whether Kukurea, whether Chua at Chelsea right now, they can aspire to elevate themselves to get into that level that can help us challenge in the future for the Premier League title. We have to wait and see. But I'm all for getting another left back because we definitely need it. We definitely need it. Both Chua and Kukurea got injured last season, missed at least two months. One, Both of them missed at least two months of the season. We have to get another left back. Have to. Because we cannot be putting Kowal left back again. And under Enzo Moresco, I doubt we will. But can't rule anything out at this point in time. So that's just my thoughts on Ricardo Califori, as you can see from the highlights here, he's a very good player, as you can see. But I have to just wait and see what the news is. He's at the Euros right now. There will be no deal concluded until after the European Championships are finished, and that will be midway through July. So we have to wait and see on that front. Let me know if you want us to sign him. Let me know down below in the comments. But now we're going to move on to the big Big news, and this is in regards to Michael Elise, and this is the reports that have come out. So, Crystal Palace have presented a new deal to Michael Elise. They are fighting to keep him, but Chelsea are confident on the Elise deal. They have entered direct talks with Elise. They are obsessed with San Elise. This is in reference to Chelsea, of course. Despite offering a new contract to Elise, Palace believe Chelsea are the favourites. Elise has to make a decision. It's up to him. He's had talks with Chelsea, Bayern and Newcastle. Also, the new contract at Palace has more money and a new release clause. Chelsea would be very ready to go to Palace and put down the money for Elise. Chelsea have made a strong financial offer to Elise. Chelsea believe he would be perfect to play with Mudrik, with Palmer and others. Chelsea want Michael Elise badly. The player feels that obsession. That was all reported by Fabrizio Romano via media playback. And boy, oh boy, Michael Elise, man, I've been saying it for a while now. It's only a matter of time before he comes to Chelsea. I have stated in the past that we are not the only team that are involved. Man United were involved, but as you can see, he has not held talks with Manchester United. Manchester United will not be getting no Michael Elise this summer. It will not be happening. Not be happening. Feel me? And Bayern have held talks with him. Newcastle have held talks. Come to Chelsea, man. Our future is brighter than theirs. You don't want to go to Bayern or one league and deep it. Bayern Leverkusen are the best team right now. Newcastle, they have financial power, but they still need to sell players. How are they going to be able to spend money and get a lease before us when they still need to sell guys and they haven't even sold anyone yet? How? Oh, I would love to see because they need to pay for a lease clause. That is what it is. 60 million release clause. Crystal Palace have offered him a new deal. But will Elise sign it? 
I find it very hard to believe, knowing how much we've been tracking him. Since last summer, we wanted to get him. And if it wasn't thanks, Crystal Palace getting him another new contract, he would be here. But everything happens for a reason. This season, it's about time Elise comes to Chelsea. It's about time. Crystal Palace, they have their ceiling. We have ours. Ours is higher. And with the way I believe the club is going, signing all of this talent, it's only a matter of time before we get back to winning ways and competing for the biggest honours. And at least say, you can be that guy on the right-hand side. You could be. You are that talented. I've said it numerous times. You are that talented. Left-footed. French. Like, what more do you want? Premier League proven. What more do we want? This is it. He could complete our attack in terms of like our wingers. You could have him Noni on the right, on the left, Mudrick or Sterling, depending on who else we sign. But <sighs> come to Chelsea, man. Come to Chelsea. We know we are obsessed with you. We've been on it. This is the one deal, all transfer window that we have been on more than anything. And that's why I believe that we're definitely going to sign him because in the transfer window, the board very rarely miss when they come to the transfer that they want. And when they show intent, even last summer, they showed intent for Moise Caicedo. Liverpool went to try and pay the 111 million. They said, no, no, we are going to get our guy, 115. Regardless of what last minute offers could come in from other teams, unless Palace re him to a new contract, which I don't believe he will. And even the report says Palace don't even believe that they are the favourites. We are. So on that front, it's only a matter of time and we will get this guy 100%. If it means paying a little bit more over the transfer fee, because you, you clearly saw that in the report earlier with Ian Matson, we had a 35 million release clause. Aston Villa pays 37.5. Who knows how these things will work? We might have to give a little bit more money for it to work out in terms of um, how the payments work all over the next couple of years. So I am looking forward, really, really looking forward to just seeing that. Here we go. Elise to Chelsea. Here we go. I'm looking forward to that. And we have to just wait and see on that front because boy, oh boy, it's going to be an exciting, exciting summer. Hopefully it's an exciting season come 24, 25. It's going to be peak. But my people, them, that is the news today from me. Please join me in the watch along. I'll be live all day, basically, doing four different watch alongs, Serbia, England, as well as Spain and Argentina in the Copa America at 1 a.m. I'll be there. So join me for those watch alongs. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new Chelsea videos from me. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC with this blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.